Hello and welcome to this measurement video on perimeter. The perimeter of a two-dimensional shape is the distance around it. Sides with identical markings on them, geometrical markings, they are equal in length. On this diagram here we have single markings on the sides here and here and we have double markings on the top and the base so we're able to say the following AD the left hand side because it's got a single marking on it is equal to BC the right hand side because it's also got a single marking on it so they've got one mark each one marking each so they're equal to each other because of the double markings, we're also able to say that AB, here across the top, is equal to DC across the bottom. So they have two markings each, and so we know they're equal in length. We can trust those geometrical markings. Unknown or supposedly missing sides, they can often be worked out by comparing sides in the same direction as each other. Let's have a look at an example. So here's a shape here. We might be given that top line of 10 and that's a horizontal line. It goes across ways. So I've marked it in red there. Now we do know something about all the other horizontal lines. Let's have a look. We've got a red line there, another red line there, and another red line there. We do know, we might not know the individual lengths of those smaller red lines, but we do know that they add up to 10 because they're all across ways. Let's have a look at the downwards, the, the vertical lines. We have a, If we have a 12 there, we can uh, compare it to all the other vertical lines that I'm putting in blue there. We not, might not know much about the individual sizes of the, the smaller lines, but we do know the total of the vertical lines and we do know the total of the horizontal lines. So the unknown horizontal lines here and here and here they will total if you compare them to the top horizontal line they will add up to 10. The unknown vertical sides so we know the 12 but the unknown ones are here here and here we don't know the sizes of the individual ones but we do know they will add up to 12 so surprisingly, even though we don't know one, two, three, four, five, six of the lines, six out of the eight lines, we don't know the sizes of them. But we can still find the perimeter of this shape because we know what they add up to. And perimeter is just adding up all the sides around the edge of a shape, really. So the perimeter will equal 10. So we can count that across the top. Let me mark it off. So that's the 10. It also we, we also have a perimeter um, included of these shape of these lines down here. Those three are also ten. This vertical line we're given is the twelve, but we also can add another twelve to take into account the three smaller vertical blue lines. So it's amazing we don't know the individual sizes of six out of the eight lines there but we can still work out the perimeter perimeter is 44 units if we add 10 and 10 and 12 and 12 there so uh, that's a powerful little uh, method there unknown or missing sides can be worked out by comparing sides in the same direction okay Let's do a few examples. The perimeter of a two-dimensional shape is just the d distance around it, so we'll add up all the sides here. 10 plus 7 plus 4. The perimeter of this triangle is 21 centimetres. Not too bad. We were given all the three sides there, and all we had to do was add it up for finding the perimeter. This one's a little trickier. It seems to have a missing side there, but we said that the markings the same marking, see how there's the same, there's sing, a single marking on the left hand side and on the right hand side there, so that same marking means that that right hand side 
uh, is uh, also 6 metres long. So we can put 6 metres in there because they ha it has in, uh, identical markings to the left hand side. So once we've done that we know all the sides that we need. 6 plus 6 plus 5 will get us the perimeter there. 17 metres. So any missing bits we can either use the markings or comparing sides in the same direction to uh, help us to find out the length of those sides before we add them all up for the perimeter. Okay, we seem to only have three out of the four sides here, but I think you can get the hang of this. The top has a, a top line across the top has an individual marking of one, and there's another marking identical to it down the bottom. So that'll help us find out the side there. The same marking on the bottom as on the top means that that base length across the bottom there is also 10 millimeters. So we can put that in confidently and then go ahead and find the perimeter by adding up 10 and 10 and another 6 and another 6 and get 32 millimeters there. So if there's a missing side we can still find the perimeter by thinking it through. Okay. Now we've got a couple of missing sides here, but let's have a look. Unknown or missing sides we saw before uh, can often be worked out by comparing sides in the same direction. I'll make it easy by making the sides different colors here. So let's have a look at the crossways, the horizontal sides. We have seven altogether on the top there, and we have a missing side and a three centimeters. So I think you can see, comparing that, that that side that's missing has got to be adding up to 7. Now I've got a 3 and a missing side that adds up to 7. I think we might be able to guess or work out that that missing horizontal line has got to be 4. So we can put that in. So we compared the horizontals and came up with the missing side length. Now we have another missing side on the right hand side there. So we have a full length of 11 centimeters in blue and then we have a missing side and a 5 centimeters. So 5 centimeters and this missing side has got to add up to 11 there. I think we can do that, uh, that piece of calculation there. Vertical lines will add up to 11. We've already got a 5, so the missing vertical line has got to be a 6. So we can write that in there, 6 centimeters. So uh, we've used the, that comparison rule. We're comparing sides in the same direction to work out missing sides before we then can go ahead. We've got all the sides we need now. We'll go ahead and find the perimeter by just adding up all the sides. 11, I think I'm going anti-clockwise here, starting at 11 on the right hand side. We'll take 7 into account and 5, then we meet a 4 and a 6 and a 3. We'll add it all up and 36 centimeters is our perimeter. So it looked like it was a hard question at first, but we compared the sides in the same direction and worked out the missing bits. So just to recap, the definition of a perimeter, the meaning is uh, the perimeter of a two-dimensional dimensional shape is just the distance around it. Sides with identical geometrical markings are equal in length, we can trust that. And unknown or missing sides can often be worked out by comparing sides in the same direction. Okay, that's all about perimeter. Uh, we'll see uh, in the next video some more geometrical facts and methods. So I hope that helps. See you next time. And of course, for all your mathematical needs, there's plenty of instructional videos for helping your skills in maths at peterblakemaths.com. Make use of them and practice them over and over again. See you next time.